Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'm going to be covering a premium theme known as Jane News. I'm going to go through the installation of a demo, I'm going to be talking about the theme, I'm going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses, and whether it's something you should use in your project. So Jane News is an, a really cool magazine style theme. When you first install it, you'll be asked to put in a token and it's going to walk you through on how to do that. But once you do that, you'll get access to the demos and the other plugins that you are required to install. I typically recommend with themes like this where there are so many options to really look at the demos to see if they have one that you like. And that way you can modify that demo to get a better appearance. This is all under the assumption that you're not a web developer. And that's typically who these themes are targeted for. I'm going to go ahead and install this one called Tutorial because I like its use of colors and it looks fairly modern. And if you want, you can always check it out by just clicking the link. And it looks really nice. Kind of gives me a sort of Kinsta color scheme type vibe. I really like it. So when you do it, it gives you a notice saying, hey, if you when you start this, it's going to create a automatic backup before we already perform an automatic backup. We recommend that you create your own backup. Make sure that you read through everything and make sure that you are understanding what it is that you're importing. You don't want to import all the content on a site that already has content. And what's cool is that it also will import content for Elementor because this is an Elementor powered theme, even though it says visual composer content. Back in the previous iterations of the theme, it was built primarily using Visual Composer. And it's also known as WP Bakery Builder now because another company has Visual Composer as their name and they look very similar. Um, so we go through, we let it install the plugins, we let it install everything that it needs to to get the site up and running, and then we should have a nice demo that looks pretty ideal to what the live demo is. This theme has a lot of functionality baked into it, and it does it very nicely and quite elegantly. Um, we're going to talk about some of the performance shortfalls, of course, because that's one of my favorite topics, is the analyzing the performance of a theme. So keep in mind that whenever you buy a theme, typically on ThemeForest or wherever marketplace, there's always going to be a bit of bloat because it's not custom, it's not for your specific use case, but the advantage is, is you typically pay a much lower cost of getting a pre-made theme and hiring somebody to modify it to your liking. So you take the trade-offs with the benefits to suit your business needs at that point. So it's going through and it's running the import process to get the images and whatnot downloaded. It's quite slower compared to the Aardvark one that we did uh, just yesterday, I believe, where we covered the Aardvark theme by Ghostpool. The import process there was quick, it was smooth, and it was very intuitive. This is taking me a bit more <laughs> time really to get going, and you can't refresh the page while it's processing. So we just have to wait. It does give you a nice little progress bar, but I think the progress bar is indicative of what stage of the import process it's on. As you can see, when you import new posts, it doesn't look like the progress bar moves any. The progress bar is just a signal saying, you've moved to this part of the import process, or then you move to this part of the import process, not how much work has actually been done, which is a little frustrating. All that goes on, we're gonna go ahead and look at the theme and we're gonna talk about what it's primary use case for. This is for news and magazine style themes. It's very nice. It has a lot of functionality strictly for those who are going for a magazine style. You can have likes, the upvotes and downvotes, comments, and integrated share buttons. And it looks very clean and modern. The author box on this looks really nice. It's very simple and it doesn't look cluttered at any point of the design. And that's a strength that you're going to struggle with when you're trying to find pre-built themes on ThemeForest. A lot of them don't have a very clean and modern design. We went ahead and we imported it and it looks like this specific demo does look to be using WP Bakery Builder. That's a shame. Uh, WP Bakery is, it's not a bad page builder, but it's not, it's not nearly as fast as Elementor and it's pretty bloated from a performance standpoint. What we'll do is we'll take this URL and we will run it just through a quick GT matrix test just to kind of see where we're sitting at. But it looks like it's gone ahead and installed everything we needed. We're gonna check out the plugins page to see what all has been added. So it, we need to add a YouTube API key for fetching video details. We can add that. Most of the plugins it installed look to be for JNews. So it's basically just a bunch of add-ons for them. 
except for WP Bakery, which is the page builder they're using. So we get 3.4 seconds, totally fine because I have no caching set up on the staging site except for Redis, so that way the back end remains quick. It adds a bunch of assets. It looks like we have a CSS file that is just not downloaded or is canceling. So a broken CSS file on an imported demo, not a very good sign. And it looks like it's been pretty light on the themes. We have one Google font here and it looks very well optimized. It looks like the theme is already running some lazy loading. So we've already covered a lot of the good basics. The combined CSS is a little bit bulky. 150 kilobytes is quite large, but it's not to the point of you're having a serious issue. I see websites using pre-built themes that have well over 300 kilobytes of compressed CSS. So this, from a theme forest theme perspective, is a little on the light side. It's JS is 168 kilobytes with most of it coming from the main JS of the theme. And there's some other stuff that could probably be cleaned up. So overall, I'm very impressed. It's pretty lightweight as far as theme forest themes go. So now we're gonna take a look at the options panel to see what you can tweak to make the theme fit your needs. And we'll also just briefly touch on some of these plugins because that's what really makes this theme itself. So we're gonna go ahead and run into the theme options. Now the thing about JNews is the JNews option up here has no way to modify settings in the back end. It does everything through the customizer. So we're just gonna click customize style up here and it's gonna point us into the customizer where all the options are loaded. The advantage here is that since it's loaded in the customizer, your, w, your WordPress backend performance is actually better. And this is because you don't have to load large JS libraries into the admin panel to get the styling and whatnot loaded because you have it all in the customizer which has its own libraries put in. So with JNews, you have quite a few options. You have general layout and color scheme, so you can choose a background for a variety of posts and pages and modify boxed containers. The side feed settings, a side feed is disabled on this theme, but I will turn it on to illustrate what this does. The side feed is a cool little, there you go. It's a cool little slider that appears on the left-hand side. It kind of pops out and it's meant to show you the latest post. So if you click on a post in this feed, it's now going to take you over to that specific post. And it's meant to be a way to force users to look at your content and then if they want, they have an easy way to get to new pages. Some people like this design, uh, some people don't. It depends on what you're trying to build your pages for. If you're trying to build a website where users are primarily there to read your content and you wanna keep them flowing to reduce the bounce rate, this can be a very powerful way of doing that because it always has content in the sidebar. This being said, one of the disadvantages of this method is it takes up a lot of screen real estate. So I love this feature because this is not something you see in a lot of themes. It's simply just not an option. But because it's there, you have to think about your design and where you're placing things a lot more. For instance, you wouldn't want to, you couldn't run a background advertisement in this design because you would be covering it by the content over here. But on the other hand, you could reduce your bounce rate by giving more content that is easily discoverable to your visitors. It's a give and a take. Um, you can choose to enable the side feed as a sidebar, so you'll be able to put widgets in the side feed instead of it just showing the latest post. You could choose to enable Ajax loading, so a post on the side feed will be loaded as Ajax instead of just redirecting them. So when you click this, it doesn't feel like they're going to a new page. It just uses Ajax to pull in the content and the post content while leaving the header intact. That's a very smart feature. You can choose to disable the side feed on the page so if you're on a page, you can disable it. Uh, we're gonna show you what I mean. We're gonna click on these uh, device mockups in the browser. We're gonna reload it. So you can see that it loads up just fine, but then we're gonna go to, let's see if I can find an example. On the home page, it disappears. So that way you can only, that way you don't distract on your home page from either your advertisements or the content that you're trying to illustrate, but on your blog post, you're able to still push users to additional content. Think of it as like a related post section, but instead of being at the bottom of the post, it's floating in the sidebar. Very useful functionality. You can choose to show the trending. This will allow you to show a trending button in the side feed. What this does is it allows you to click latest in trending, trending being posts that have a certain amount of, uh, what do you, how would you call it, uh, views, 
very simple concept. Trend, trending range allows you to set the free, how far you want the trending content to show. Typically a week is ideal for most websites. And then the side feed data format allows you to choose WordPress default or the relative date time format. I just do leave it at WordPress default and leave it at that. So then we're going to just briefly look at some of the color schemes. You can modify the common color schemes that are automatically imported. You can choose the uh, accent colors and alternative colors. You can also choose to choose your scheme color, which means normal mode is light mode, but if you click dark, it tries to invert the this, this website to be in dark mode. So now as you can see, the design is very dark mode, except for the sidebar that we just integrated and that is not in dark mode. So it looks like it's a little tricky to get it to work correctly. You'll have to play with it a little bit, but you can get a very fresh and modern dark mode style design using this theme. And this looks pretty good. I'd be worried about the blue, the dark purples on the links right here from a readability perspective, but it inverted the text colors to be white and it looks more or less like they did a pretty good job. The purple is a little hard to read, but other than that, this was a very quick one click way of making your site in dark mode. This sidebar needs to be modified to be dark mode, to be in dark mode, but I really like this. More themes should have a dark mode option because it is a very popular design trend right now with most uh, very large apps and websites at the moment. And then the mobile browser color just allows you to change the color of the tab that displays up here. It's also known as the theme color and we're not gonna bother with that too much. So then you get a header builder. The header builder is very simple. You can completely customize how the header looks. You can extend and reduce the length of content. You can choose to add different elements to the header. So if you have WooCommerce installed, you can add a cart icon and cart details, or you can add weather details if you're a website that displays weather information. Since I don't have a key set up for the weather API to work, this doesn't do anything but you have a lot of flexibility to design your header in the way you want. I'm not even going to go into every sub option here because there's just that many. You could go to header dark mode and you can now enable dark mode in the header. Once, let's see if we get it to work. There we go. Now that we've enabled full dark mode, we have the entire theme in a black and white format everything looks ideal and they kept the purple in the areas that I expect it to be and it looks really good. This is a very good use of dark mode. I, I very like, I'm very proud of how easy it was to make this thing into dark mode. I don't know. Personally, I'm very much a fan of dark mode and dark designs because it's a lot easier on my eyes especially because I do a lot of work at night on a mobile device where it is very easy to hurt my eyes from staring at very bright designs. Basically Facebook on my Android device and then in the evening is complete torture. But Reddit on the other hand, Reddit is great. So then you get the footer options. The footer options are very straightforward. You can go ahead and modify the copyright output information and you can basically just design it however you wish. You have the information out being output here. You can modify which side the information shows on. You could choose to show the social icons on either the left or right side or to hide them all together. You can, and we're going to look at this, the, under the single post options, you have quite a few customization options that do make it act like more of a mobile, a mobile magazine. You can enable breadcrumbs, the native breadcrumbs in the JNews theme, and you could choose whether to enable them or disable them. If you're using Yoast SEO, you can use the Yoast breadcrumbs, which I personally would recommend just using the Yoast breadcrumbs. And you could choose where to show it. On the single post options, you can modify the template style, which is how the content is going to be output. So you have a variety of styles to choose from based off of your needs. And we will dis we'll go ahead and show you what the edit screen looks like because there's additional sub options in the edit screen for the specific theme. So as you can see, we went ahead and we opened up the editor. If you go to the post format type, you could choose to use standard video or gallery. If you choose video, you're able to stick a video where the featured image normally would be. So that way it does feel like a video post and you can override the default template that we were using in the customizer. 
the related post option, you can choose to enable related post, or if you want to show them inline as well. Since we have this giant sidebar over here showing the post, I wouldn't really need to do that, but there is a way for you to do that in this theme, which is very much appreciated. Mobile truncation, what this is, and it's quite confusing, basically on a mobile device, this will show people a snippet until they click a read more button, and then that will load the rest of the post. Um, it's popular because of Facebook's uh, little instant articles. That was what primarily sparked the design trend, but I'm not that much of a fan. Following video enables the following video in a single post. This will allow you to have a video to be, follow to be followed on the post, and then you could choose to have the video followed on the top right or the bottom right. Basically what this means is if you have a video set as a featured image, for, as the featured content for instance, it will pop out and float at like the bottom right or top right or wherever you wish it to display. That way it follows you around. It's very similar to what YouTube does now. You could choose what comment system to use, whether it's WordPress, Facebook, or Discus, and then you can also choose to use the JNews login form on the com for the comment section so that way they have to be signed in before they can comment. That's a good way of also reducing spam, but to further expand your community. The JNews image and gallery option allows you to modify their gallery section that you can embed and what's used on the gallery post type. We're not gonna play too much with that. The social bar allows you to modify what social networks you have shown and you can also modify the view counter. One thing I always recommend doing is never use the default theme counter. Use Jetpack, or if it has Google Analytics, use that. The reason for that is, is if you use theirs, you're putting a lot more load on your server, but if you're using the Jetpack one, that load is now transferred to the Jetpack server to deal with the processing. And we can mess around with more options in there for the sharing, and you just have a total total theme you have so many options and then you can go into the advertisements and the additional options and so on and so forth there's even an entire speed optimization section which we will be making a video on on how to optimize this theme with only free plugins of course and it's a really solid theme i enjoy i want to use this theme in a side project just because it has a lot of flexibility in the content and how you can design it that is about all I have to say on JNews. If you're looking to have a magazine theme that has a lot of the feature set here, make sure you check out their pre-made demos. It's a really solid theme with a lot of flexibility. The performance isn't too bad. We will be making a follow-up video going into the performance and showing you how to optimize the theme to get better performance. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.